Welcome to the studio. Uh, we've been doing some fun things out here today. This is just one that's been kind of exciting to me. I've been doing a mosaic of beehives. So look at these amazing and cute bees that I found. And so, so far, I just cut out all of these hexagons and had to, of course, you know, fit some little end pieces, little triangles, and I fit them all in, and now I am ready to glue. So what I will do is glue each one of these pieces down. As you can see, I left a pretty big gap, and I did that purposely because I wanted there to be a lot of the grout showing through. I just think that that gives it more of a, um, an idea that it's inside the honeycomb. So, um, and I started with a light color and just kind of got darker and darker. But what I'll need to do, on the back you can see that there's a little space. That's actually a magnet. I'm not going to use the magnet. <laughs> Magnets don't stick to wood too well or glass. But what I'll do is I'll put it just here and then make a little spot. Just kind of cut out just the tiniest bit so that this little bee is going to fit right in there. And then it'll be a space and it'll lay flat in there. And then I'll just put a glob of glue here and here. As I'm gluing the rest of the honeycombs together, then I will just glue that right in. So that's my next step. We're just going to glue this baby together and have this mosaic. So I will invite you back when we're to that point. So I'll show you, I'm just going to grind this, this corner. How was it before? Do you remember? <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, it fits in there. All right. Okay. So... Is that everything you have to say about that? I think this is a really interesting pattern because you don't really need a pattern for it since it's all octagon or polygons. Hexagons. Hexagons. Well, they're all polygons oh, because okay. any number of sides is a polygon. Yeah. So what we did, I just cut out one of these and then just did lots and lots of them. And then the edges are just... You just cut them wherever they needed mm -hmm. to fill in. You bet. Sweet. All right, so we'll be okay. back when it's glued. We're doing, you know, we, so we've gotten all these glued. So I'm getting a little bit of E6000 glue. Putting them right in there. Trying to give an equal amount all the way around. Getting a little bit of glue on here. It's gluing day. How to put in the bees work? Really good. So I just ground a little bit around, put them in there with a kind of a glob of glue in there. And I don't think they're going anywhere. All right. This might be the last one. And then what do you have to do? Spread them so that they're equal distance? 
Yep, I'm <laughs> trying to do that. Like this over here on the corner? Oh, look at that. That's a mess. <laughs> come on, this one here needs to come back. All right, thank you. Get your perspective in there. <laughs> Awesome. And look, all these are... I know, I could kind of mess around with them all day. All right. Is this going to be a dark um, grout or a light grout? That's a good question. I don't know. We could start out light and go dark. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm wondering if... Uh, I think sandy colored. Okay. Yeah. And I think it looks your, like honey. Your bees are going to be kind of hard to grout around, aren't they? I know. I was just thinking that. What the heck? Maybe. <laughs> it's okay. It's a challenge. It's a challenge that I accept. <laughs> Kind of fun seeing the the design mm -hmm. yeah, coming back. back. Yeah. Well, I do think taking your bees out was a good idea. Yeah. This was a t-shirt. That seems to work nice with this. <laughs> Probably have to really get in these little crevices.
gonna get a toothbrush for those little texture parts. So we're ready to put the bees back in. I put some glue in there. They're going to fit right in that hole. Are you fitting in that hole, little bee? Oh, there he goes. Okay, I'm going to let them dry and I'll do a little more polishing. And then, yay, it's done. I kind of like it. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Let's try.